Hello, my name is Eric Chappelle, author of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 Essentials, and this is the additional exercise for Chapter 12. So for this exercise, we are asked to do a complete alternate parcel layout for this project. And that may sound like a really big deal, like that's going to take us hours to do. But as you're about to see, because of the commands in Civil 3D and how powerful they are for creating parcels, this is actually going to be pretty quick and painless. I'm going to start by using the Create Parcel from Objects command to take the geometry that we have and turn it into parcel geometry. So I'll launch the command, select the, the types of things that we used for boundaries in the previous examples. We've got some back lot lines in red. We've got some existing boundaries in purple. And then we've got some right-of-way lines in the black dashed fashion here. And I think that takes care of just about everything. So that's going to take our, our big piece of property and break it up into several large pieces. And just to keep things kind of clear, I know we haven't talked about styles yet. We're going to do that in the next chapter. I'm going to use a, an area label style called lot number because it's really small and it doesn't take up a lot of space. Okay, and you can see what I mean there. That's just a simple number inside of uh, an ellipse. So we've taken that large parcel and we've chopped it up into some larger pieces. So there's, there's a piece, there's a piece, there's a piece. The right-of-way happens to be a piece as well. That's piece number 51 in this case. But we've got some larger parcels that we can now subdivide according to the design parameters that we have. And that's where things get really fun because we can go up here to the parcel command and say parcel creation tools and you know I'm gonna go ahead and accept the defaults for the minimum area and those sorts of things and just jump right into slide line create so I'll start uh, once again I'm gonna use the lot number area label style because it looks nice and clean um, I'll start with this parcel right here so we've got this big open kind of runway where we want to put all these lots in and we know how large we want the lots to be we know how much frontage we want them to have and all these other parameters and what this command is going to do is fill out that area with um, with the parcels that we want so I'm going to subdivide that large parcel I'm going to indicate where the frontage starts and ends and that's going to be from here around to this location so pretty much the entire frontage of that parcel I'll hit enter it's gonna think about all of the all the parameters and if I'm happy with the layout I can hit enter or I could go in here and change a number if I choose I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and just like that we've subdivided that part of it now we'll do this parcel indicate where the frontage is for that one and bring it the whole way around kind of to where we stopped the last one we'll hit enter take a look at the preview and maybe just for fun this time we do want to make a change instead of redistribute the remainder we want to create a parcel from the remainder so it's going to reconfigure those parcels slightly and give us a little bit of leftover at the end I'll hit enter to accept that and enter again to exit the command and just like that we have done a completely different alternate layout of our parcels so that's how easy it is with commands like slide line create and create parcels from objects to uh, to lay out a full projects worth of parcels that takes care of the additional exercise for chapter 12